Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Carl Ross from University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom and today I'm going to show you how to use compile Visual Basic programs using um, Windows 8. So I cl click on desktop there, I get that there and I pick on Internet Explorer, I get that normal desktop there and I pick on this here and I pick on Professor Carl Ross to get my website and there's my website there so we go down here, down there, I'm going to look for a link which says collapse of submarines and I find it there, there it is there, collapse of submarines, I pick on that and uh, I go down here, there's quite a lot of stuff there and I'm going looking for a link here and there's a link there, there, there Ross's programs, their DOS programs and Visual Basic programs. The, the DOS programs won't work in Windows 8 or Windows 7, but the uh, Visual Basic programs will work. And they compile Visual Basic programs. So I pick on Pressure Vessels. This is my book, Pressure Vessels External Pressure Te Technology, published by Woodhead Publishers of Cambridge and Oxford. In the United Kingdom, so I click on this is the program I want. Mises NP. This is the one Mises formula. It calculates the lambda ratio as well, the lambda thinness ratio. Click on that. I put pick on run, and then I pick on more info because it's not it's an unknown publisher. It's careful, but it's safe. It's my program. I put run anyway, and there you are. Now it asks for the sandbox. I don't want the sandbox. So I pick on open normally. I pick on OK and then it starts. It's the start of the program. I press start. This is a model which I used at Manchester University doing my PhD. It's 10 inches length. I put 10 there. OK. The mean radius was 5.165 inches. So I type that OK. The shell thickness was 0 0.081 inches. So I press OK there. The Young's modulus was 30 times 76 pounds per square inch. I put 3E7. Put that. OK. The Passons ratio was 0.3. So I picked that. The yield stress was 40,000 pounds per square inch. So I put that in there. And that's fine. Now this tells me that it's going to calculate the one reasons formula, the David Taylor, made David Taylor model basin formula, and the thinness ratio. So I press OK. Unsupported length is 10 inches. Just to check, make sure I've got it right. The mean shell radius is 5.165 inches, which is right. The shell thickness is 0 0.081, which is right. The young modulus is 3 times 10 to the 7, or 30 times 10 to the 6 pounds per square inch. The Passon ratio is 0.3. The yield stress is 40,000. And there I swapped it out. The lambda thinness ratio, you don't need all these figures there. You put it in about three decimal points. And 1.363 is a lambda thinness ratio produced by Winnenberg and Trilling of the David Taylor Model Basin. Now the buckling pressure by the David Taylor, Taylor, Taylor model basin formula is 457.5 pound per square inch and the von Mises buckling pressure is 465.6 pound per square inch and it buckles in five lobes in the, the von Mises formula. When we do that, do you want another analysis? We can if we want to. I beg your pardon, press, press OK. Then you press No, and you press OK and that's it. That's it, it's done it. Now I've got other formula here, um, which is Neodson. If it's got a V at the end, it means it's Visual Basic, which will work in Windows 7 and Windows 8. And a Kendrick 1, Visual Basic, Kendrick 1, Kendrick Part 3, and the Part 3, and the Brian Visual Basic, and the Ring Cylinder formula, which deals with stresses. That's also the VB, and also... Um, um, this this uh, calculates stresses in a circular cylinder stuff stiffened by rings. The rings can be inside or outside of both ways. So thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. I'm just to show the power of Windows 8.